it started off as just a throwaway remark of why don't we build a house at the school and within half an hour it had become a major campaign really, a major project. We've never done it before, as far as we know no one's done it before. People's first response is well that's really exciting but you know surely it's far too difficult. The funny thing is that building what you're doing like bat boxes and is probably more complicated than building panels for a house. So what we want to do is to give you some sort of confidence and enthusiasm to realise that you can do things which are substantially bigger than what you probably thought you could. This is a really unusual thing for us to do because although we do get involved in lots of projects this is so different and um, so original and I'm so excited by it because we are bringing together a really diverse group of children. Something like that, you see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see how the door is there and then there's the balcony. Like what, what would you aim for us to get out of it? What's the what start point? What I want you to get out of it is I, I would like you to feel that A, you have learnt how to build a house, you've understood how to build a house and feel that you could go out afterwards and do it. It's a school which has had problems in the past and is always going to be a school that's fragile probably because of the nature of its intake. So about 70% of the children qualify for pupil premium which means that they're either on free school meals or have been at some point in the last six years and therefore their family income is less than 16,000 a year. The first time I heard about it was from him. He texted me on my phone and said they're doing some building uh, housing at school and I was like we should definitely get involved. And they said I've signed you up for this house thing. I'm like what do you mean house? And I was like they was like you're building a house. I'm like a house, a natural house and I got a bit confused and then... And there was like a gasp in the staff room um, because and my senior staff have been kind of you know well Sally's little project not really going to happen um, but suddenly people are starting to believe it really is going to happen. It could change people and it probably will change me, how I feel about like things I couldn't do, now I, now I can do them. So it, gets me, it gives me ideas about what I can do when I grow up. And we get told that we just, we're just into crime and we've got nothing in the future. But if we all work together, we can show the community that we're actually good young children and that we've got something to do in forward in life. Once we've built the house, if we could go around and teach other people so that we can spread the idea of building houses on site at schools. I'm interested in studying architecture at university so I think this is obviously very relevant and also I've also done work experience before and it's quite interesting to apply what I've learned in theory and in, into reality. Learn possible ways to build houses that you can make money, raise money for charity from people staying in the house, you could do wonderful things. There's a stereotype against women builders, like prove, I want to prove that no matter what your gender is you still have the skills and capability to build a house. I think this will help me with my behaviour as well because I'm, like, I'm more physically doing stuff, like, I like practical and hands-on stuff. How many 12-year-olds can say that they've built a, a house? I'm not sure many in, out, out of the whole of England could say, oh, I've built a house. My head's on the rack it is very important for young people to be able to build homes for themselves or perhaps more importantly to understand that it's possible to understand that projects which they would consider to be huge are actually achievable it's like a hurricane and, and my when you leave school leave university you've got to be able to enjoy your life we want to enable people to get the self-esteem the self-confidence and also the sheer excitement of having done something for themselves. Our full blown yellow attack.